The Sentai Review, episode 165, Turtle Power 2. Okay, so we're back. Um, we had to leave off on Ninja Turtles three because too goddamn long. Yeah, yeah. we hit we hit like a we hit yeah. like a two hour mark. Yeah. So because it was piss and smoke break, and Shane just wanted to leave. It's true, and Shane can't miss these turtles. Yep. We'll pause it again, Shane. You'll be the end of the Sentai review. Yep. And it'll be all your fault. I'll let everybody know that you just couldn't be in this room to see the best turtles. Oh, yep. Bill, you're assuming he can get out of the room. Yes, yeah, true. You got my the two fat, fat ass people in, the, in front of the door. No, my fat ass in the max and relaxing chair is barricading this here door. You about to jump like cat through that window? Awesome. <laughs> I will, fucking, ah, I will dive go. out of that fucking window to get away from these turtles. Well, <laughs> I think it's turtle time. Reploid Bill, William Bush. Seth Level Sario. Scott Action Jackson. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no help for you. Hey, guys. I know you're about to get your podcast on, so I'll be quick. If at any time you feel like dropping your own opinion into what we're talking about, head on over to FandomNight.com and all of the contact information for every single one of our shows, including the one you're about to watch, is there. All right, guys. I'll leave you alone. This game is cutthroat. Shane Ralph true. Garman is about to get fucking sued. Oh Shane, my God. we would actually probably <laughs> release your address to the fans. It's Jesus, that's hardcore. <laughs> okay, here we go. We are on Ninja Turtles 3, Awfulness. Truth be told, this was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid, because I was a dumb kid, but only for like the intro to this. Wait, wait, dumb kid? Damn. I only liked the intro. No, no. No, Shane no. got it. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> man, that's hardcore. Oh, I know. Next. Uh, yeah. Holy yep. God. Hey, turtle, guys. turtle, turtle, frickles. Hey, no. Hey, on top of that, look at them. They're all linked arms. Mikey's at the front. Because everyone knows better, they and only make, Donnie I, has Mikey. I was gonna say I could barely make these these jokes. They, they, these are awful. Yeah, like they're so unbelievably bad. Mm-hmm. Very bad. And here's the thing about it: <laughs> so bad that Shane's not looking. They at added it. those spots in the second movie, like made them more defined. But they they went overboard in this one, and yeah. they're all like a. I noticed the spots in the second movie didn't bother me. Yeah, this. It's too overdone. Yep. Yeah. They're too noticeable. Well, also, their legs, like, the, the turtles have always been kind of, like, over bulky. But here they look like they, they skipped, slid the legs. They skipped leg day. Yeah. When, yeah. Uh, well, maybe. I don't know about, they, they thinned them. Yeah. yeah. Next. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Look at that high-quality image. Look uh, at it, Shane. Uh, look, it's so good. If If good was... A different word. <laughs> you know, you want to know what really depresses me? What? See, just uh, the film quality was way better. Yeah. yeah. Even today on the Blu-ray, if I you mean, watch the Ninja Turtles one, it's really fuzzy. Mm-hmm. Like all the dark crap in there that worked really well for the movie in general left a bad left left a bad life on the film. It's really fuzzy, and it never it never really. Went through the process of remastery very well. Is he using his sword as a bookmark? Yes. Oh, well, that's a ancient sword that was given to them by uh, April's scavenger or rummage sales that she went to or something. So I can I cannot remember. I, I do ancient kind of sword remember. Sword found in flea market. And isn't yeah, she the same? Out. Isn't she the same actress that played in the I second really, movie? I think so. I think it's the same one from the second one. And so. then they somehow got Casey to come back for this movie, yeah. but they couldn't get him to come back for the second. 
Money's a hell of a thing. I bet he, he must have been broke. That must have been broke. Well, he probably got a dual paycheck because he was in the present time and the past time. So, well, that wouldn't mean anything. He no, he would still get the same paycheck. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Don't they get more money just because you're in two Next. different parts of the movie. Okay, I will say this. Okay, I'll say two things. Mikey and Schwartz is funny. We don't make fun of it anyway. And at the same time, it's also somewhat intelligent because the other guys that switch places really should have shown up naked. Hmm. Yeah, no, it actually it, uh, it was the same chick. But okay. the second thing I'm going to say is, Raphael, put your size put away. Put your fucking size away. Can't do it. Need and I like mind. this prop. For as bad as this movie is... I thought that prop was fine. I kind of like that weird lantern thing that they hold, and then if oh, somebody the, else is the holding it in a different yeah, time of frame yeah. at the same point, they will switch places. What's that thing behind Raph? Uh, pinata. Uh, yes, it's like a pinata thing. Okay. I don't know. There's we'll all know kinds of garbage the down there. Oh, and by the way, when they find this place in the second movie... This place is still where they live. The, the The train terminal is still where they live in the third movie, and this is where they live. You can see this archway right here and the stairway in the next mutation, yep. which also yep. leads us back to the idea that these three movies happened in that continuity, but just maybe not the exact same way. Yeah. In fact, right. actually, I think it's the same in the fourth movie as in well. In fact, I have an interesting little retcon mm-hmm. for how it works. Yeah, that's I think that I this it. movie, uh, because it deals with time travel and they went back and they altered a little bit of the past, yeah. that's how the next mutation happens. Because when they come back, look, it doesn't matter what you change. Yeah. It doesn't matter how minuscule you might think your change is. That guy was not supposed to fall into that water and die. Period. The fact that he's dead means that generations of family have been wiped from existence. That changed something. Yep. Which means, which is probably why it didn't change right away as soon as they got back. So. so it wouldn't surprise me at all to say that the first three movies happened, and because of this event, that's what changed the history and makes the next mutation happen. Yep. Next. God damn it's also the reason why they could be inside of both the... Uh, the DC universe and inside of the Power Rangers universe. This looks like something. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to explain this. It looks like one of those learning kid shows where, like, the guy will look in the window and be like, hey, whatever fun, stupid ass character, Mr. <laughs> Learny Guy. <laughs> That's what it looks like. You mean it's kind of like a Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers type of thing? Yeah, that's exactly what this looks like to me, is they're looking through, like, the windows, like on one of those learning shows. Hey, everybody, my name's Casey Jones. I'm crazy! Actual reason this is like that, they didn't finish the bottom part of that puppet. Yep. Yeah. So he's he's always behind stuff. He's cut off. In fact, that right there, if you're looking real close, that's... He's missing his lower half. Yep. Yeah, because right now, uh, since you pointed that out, it literally looks like he got impaled by something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the, he wanted out of this movie. Because like, the bottom of the puppet uh, is not there. So every Mikey, time... Master Splinter has a <laughs> shot. <laughs> no, no, it's... <laughs> oh, thank God, Don, he got the, all those things of morphine. Mikey only skinned half of me. <laughs> Note to self, don't make fun of Mikey's shorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so every time we see Splinter in the course of this movie, he will always be covered from the waist down. Always. The whole fucking movie. And Casey no longer looks like a hard ass. Looks like a fucking male model. He looks like a surfer boy. Yeah, he looks like a male model surfer boy. Hey, Hey, boys and girls, I'm Casey Jones, and joining me today is Master Splinter. Oh, hello, children. And joining us today is Asian Man from Feudal Japan. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, like, tell us about uh, your time. 
And he's like, oh, there were dead people in the streets. Uh, we threw our feces out the window and just kind of let the horses eat. Oh, that's enough. I do not like the e- past except, at all. Except <laughs> this is children's show. <laughs> yeah. Next. Oh. oh God, oh. we're in this fucking movie. <laughs> we're in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Why These, were we created? Even before this movie came out, though, that, wasn't there these toys figures? existed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there so was a set of action figures Samurai for the feudal Warrior? line. Yeah, yeah, it was like yes. samurais. You know, looking at their mouths in this one compared mm. to the other ones, I don't mm. know why. What's with mm. this bug teeth? <laughs> I was about to say, their teeth look horrible. Okay, Leo's look looks... Look at their ginormous tongues. Yeah, that too. <laughs> They're barely held in their goddamn heads. And their eyes are all huge. When they speak, we can't see this yet. We'll sadly have to watch the third movie and review it. Yep. And when we do it, <laughs> no, you won't be sick, motherfucker. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> nope. nope, that's the end of the Sentai review. Yep. <laughs> Sentai review is You're going to end this because you're going to make me watch this? <laughs> uh-huh. Shane, don't worry. I have a plan. The sock puppet talking must be experienced. <laughs> Hold on. No. <laughs> Shane, and they I do have too. A plan. Uh-huh. What's that? <laughs> We're going to drink until this movie is good. <laughs> oh, we'll be dead. Exactly. And we'll do this episode from the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the hospital right now. Shane's getting ex- his stomach pumped. Uh, so, Shane, the opening of Turtles 3. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Nuff said. <laughs> okay. I have a hard time Dunny, believing what will Feudal Japan <laughs> Long Iron. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. They had guns. I yeah. can't remember they the time. Guns. I can't remember yeah. the time, but I think this is supposed to be right when guns were being introduced. Yeah, they the had country. guns back then. There's, just... there's Westerners that are. The, mm-hmm. the whole point of the whole movie was like there was some guy, some Westerner who was coming across. And yeah, with guns trying, and cannons. Yeah, and he stuff. was trying to sell sell guns and cannons Try. to a, to another to to a, to a warlord, and that was what happened in Japan. Actually, from what I understand. Guns were not something that they necessarily created. They had something like a gun, like a type of firework yeah. thing with like an explosive cannon thing. Yeah. But well, like the, the actual did develop gunpowder. The actual mm-hmm. powerful, the actual powerful guns that came across like that, that was supplied because yeah. they they were a closed country. So they made a they they developed certain things, and then they closed off for a long time. Yep. And from what I understand from the story I've heard. What opened the borders back up for trade was a toy train. Yep. It was like nothing they'd ever seen. Hmm. It was basically like, here, look at this. And they fucking made a little track, and the little train went around the track. And I guess, I can't remember if it was the emperor or what. I don't, I don't know my Japanese dynasty history. But I do remember reading that it was a toy train that basically opened, like a model train that reopened the borders and allowed trade with Japan. Quick, somebody call Guy Jingumba. we got to get culture shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Next. You know, that would be hilarious if he got a hold of us. He'd be like, hey, yeah, you guys true. about fuck you. Yeah. Uh, damn, Mikey. Well, I mean, considering the fact he's well, talked about it space. in 12 other episodes. Well, but, as know. a technicality, one of the people that's in game theory is like a 45-minute drive from us. I can believe Earth? that. Yeah, Austin. Austin, who's in charge of the science. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. The science! So, like, in this image, you could Dear tell that... Here's Sentai Review. It's me! Austin! Austin. Oh, yeah, God. It was me the whole time, Austin! Oh, wait, now not we're, now not we're about, Not about to happen here. Sorry. Not about to happen. <laughs> For multiple reasons, big YouTubers will never will never collaborate with us. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because it's, it's us. So, April, did I tell you Wait, to wear that? Wait, how the fuck did she get back there? Because she held, she's the whole she, thing that starts it. She swapped with the prince it. of the warlord guy. Yeah. yeah so. because oh, the, thank God I blanked out most of this there's movie. A, the, the story is, well, here's the thing. The second Turtles movie story is bad. But the movie works. The yeah. third turtle story is actually good, but the movie is awful. Yep. It's a real simple concept. There is a relic. If I am holding the relic, and somehow through the disposition of time itself... People assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect. But actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, it's more like a big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. 
if somebody else is holding the relic, I will switch places with them. It as, has the as power long as it's to one swap person. Us. Yes. Well, it 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 has to be somebody who's works, roughly the exact same size yeah. and yeah. body mass as you are. And it works in tandem to the idea that like that one person is holding it while I'm holding it, and then there's probably something else that links the people. Who knows? Yeah. And then the four turtles, the four samurais have it. And because of all the armor and crap that they're wearing, when the four turtles hold it, they go back to the same the same point. Um, is that practical in any fucking way that you could have guessed that four samurais would someday hold that fucking relic and that the, tor- the four turtles held it, that that was a guarantee that they'd go back to the same time to save April? No, it's absolutely ludicrous. Yeah. But... We've let other stuff in Power Rangers go. Yep. Plot. <laughs> so basically, Don't you. that bullshit. Yes. Because <laughs> he's but not here at the moment. It's not a bad little time travel story that April got stuck in the past. The turtles go back to save her. They deal with an enemy that's not the Shredder because past. Although the Warlord looks no. similar to uh, the Shredder's assistant, so because it was the same actor. Yeah. Yeah. It could have been a descendant. Uh, yeah. Because they also yeah. give you, they show you in this movie, there, there's a descendant. lot of bad things. They show you Casey's descendant. They show you, um, oh my God, they show you Master Splinter's descendant. Yep. Or ancestor is what I'm, the word uh, I'm looking for. Descendant is not, not correct. No, no. Wasn't, yeah. wasn't, uh, yeah, the little kid was named Yoshi, which is the one who... Which is actually the same family line yep. that will later give birth to Yamato Yoshi. Yep. So maybe some of that family line didn't get cut off because that kid got saved from a fire. But see, that's what I mean, yeah. What was Splinter's master's name? Yamato Yoshi. And then Shredder's real name is... Oroko Saki. Oroko Saki, okay. Yeah. Okay. But Yamato Yoshi's master was Yoshi. Yes. So. Okay. So what's up with uh, Raph? He's an asshole. Yep. <laughs> you should know this. He's your favorite asshole. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. He is my favorite turtle. You know. Yes. I do know he's an ass. <laughs> what's up with the fucking blank stare? Because he's an asshole. Shane, this is Turtles Three. You would have a blank stare. <laughs> no. See, <laughs> see, Bill, the thing I liked the most about that was Shane immediately asked, what's up with Raph? He doesn't even bother mentioning uh, Mikey staring at the back yeah, of Yeah, I was about head. to say. I, I mentioned that, that earlier. Up with yeah, Raph. you did. I mentioned it earlier. I'm like, I was like, um, Mikey, personal um, space. Um, no. And I was like, no, because Mikey's pissed because they had to go back to save the bitch. And Raph's sitting there like, you know what? I'm with you. For once, I'm with you. Do it. <laughs> and Donnie, Donnie is sitting there smiling because he knows what the fuck is about to happen. That's because Donnie's distracting her. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, April, smiling. bad things are about to happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> and Leo's like, my really can't see his face, but he's probably like, man, eh, whatever. Next. He knows back. better. Oh, oh, look. Back oh my it's lord. Right my favorite nunchucks. Look at that. That... Just say it, Bill. Use your words. I'm, I'm trying. Let, let, let us feel the disappointment. It sustains me. <sighs> Leo might be the worst-looking turtle yeah. in the group. Yeah. He might literally be the worst-looking turtle. Mikey's yeah. the best-looking one. And Mikey actually is the best-looking turtle in this movie. And we're not saying that because we're no. terrified of being skinned alive by nunchucks. Because yeah, because <laughs> even though the costume... Well, Mikey's always been kind of a slimmed-down thing compared to the other turtles. He was right? always the smaller one. Yeah, so there's something about it that he kind of made the transition easier. But to be fair, in this picture, he looks one of the bigger ones. Right. He's behind the dark, Leo. If they'd have made this movie dark like the other Where movies... Where is he in front? I don't know. Lighting is a big deal. That's what I'm trying to tell you, is Raph doesn't look as bad in the dark. Right. And Don, here in the back, shadowed properly, doesn't look as bad. Had this movie not taken place in mostly light, this might have passed in costume. Here's my thing. If you look at Mikey... He looks Still like- would have been rough, and you would have needed a lot of camera angles and the correct lighting, but I'm seeing it right here. Mm-hmm. Don looks good. Yeah. Except for the teeth. 
Just no, of, that even kind of yeah, looks it mean. It looks, looks better than it did before. Yeah, it, it looks better you, than in the you can't, light. Yeah, you can't see his big red dumb tongue and the yeah. slits in between the teeth that show you how buck they are. Yeah. Um, Man, there's something wrong with Leo, though. Not just his look, but there's just something wrong with him. Look at him. He's like... It's the animatronics, that weird smile they give the turtles, and that just, yeah. it looks so But bad. in this situation, all the turtles are like, Ugh. Yeah, he's uh, just he's smiling. Like, he's like, What's up, guys? That's because he knows who's behind him. Yeah. You guys are about to get fucked up. This is Leo. I will do my best, master. Next. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> look at Ralph's expression back there. It's like, oh shit! I would too. Look yeah, at look Leo. At Mike. Uh, Mike, shit, Mike looks. Look Mike looks crazy again. Yeah. Mikey. He looks scared. Yeah. <laughs> of Raph course. Is scared. Look at fucking Mikey. <laughs> Ralph is about like. <laughs> Ralph is scared. He's like, Mikey's about to go off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but he's yeah. grabbing April too, so he's like, that's because yeah, he's about to grab April and yeah. run. Yeah. yeah. How many times have I told we you got that to, smile? Bitch, we got to go. We got to go now. I yeah. saved your ass once. I'm not. I'm about to Close do it again. Your damn mouth. You they look, look like a retard. They look awful. <clears throat> what? Okay, now in this picture, because of the lighting, shadowing, and stuff, now Raph looks better. Yeah, Raph yeah. looks like the best one in this. Now one. he looks like the best one. That's Leo's I mean. dumb. Leo's dumb in this movie. Had it been properly mm. shaded, you might have gotten away with these costumes. To be fair, also, right. Mikey's not looking. So Raph's like, well, if Mikey can do it. I'm copping a fucking feel. Man, this is so... Next. Okay. Hey, Thank well, God. You feel okay. Better? Thank you. All right. Are you ready for this short. score? <laughs> yeah. Seth, are you ready? Yes. It's a 0. 0.001. That many zeros? Three? Three zero, yeah, sure, okay. why not? Point zero 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 one. I'll I'll go with oh, that. Oh, okay, fair enough. I, uh, whatever. Because something tells me there is still something worse than that coming. <laughs> what are you at, Shane? Oh, he's he's on the list. He gave it a straight zero. Shit, hold on. I hate this movie. I hate these costumes. Don't like anything about it. I'm gonna tell you something right now. Those costumes with proper lighting make me believe that they are better than the singing turtles. Oh, yeah. They also got a zero, so... Yes, which is why I'm going to give this a one. Our grading scale is five is perfect, four is great, three is average for the kind of thing that we're reviewing, two, only if you're a fan, one, this is simply bad, zero, I'm sorry you even have to know this exists. These, under the correct conditions, are passable, they're one. They're simply bad. But with the proper lighting, they could have gotten away with this. We've seen, we seen pictures that prove but it. But here's the problem. Because the entire movie wasn't properly lit. Exactly. Well, no, that's, that's, that is the problem. It was properly, properly lit. lit. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I got it mixed up. More darkness. It needed darkness. So I'm giving them a 1.2 because if you're a fan, you could see it and understand it like you did. Proper lighting, okay. So altogether, zero point seven two zero zero two. So a point seven two. Moving on. Now right. we're going on to the whole reason we have to do this. Fuck. The next mutation is the show that we will be reviewing. We have to do Turtles one, Turtles two, Turtles three. Then we go on to fifteen episodes of the next mutation. These are the turtles that will join the Rangers in space. And I figured out once again the YouTube gods favor us because I got on Netflix, or excuse me, the Netflix gods favor us because I got on Netflix last night to try to watch the Turtles movie. Typed in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This shit pops up. I'm like, oh, oh, gee, thank it, you. It is, it is on Netflix. It is on Netflix. Oh, and all its shitty glory. Turtle what? tits. The fuck? This. Right here, these costumes are new. Yep. They don't look like that in the show. This was done for a promotional thing recently. Had to be. Not recently, but when they were coming out with yeah, the DVDs, yeah, because the, yeah. the, the costumes don't I, look I'm like guessing, that. I'm guessing this right. might have been during their promotional stuff, just like the coming out of their shows had some different, better looking. Right. Well, I, I'm, different. Actually th I'm actually thinking that when Shout Studios, all those Power Ranger pictures they do for the DVDs, 
those are not that's not Austin St. John and people like that. That's not them. That's just costumes they bought. Even and they though got the actors. derpy faces look about the same as these are not the same costumes. Yeah, they're not. I In know fact, because I anything... just I just watched four episodes with Gwen. These costumes are too bright and actually too well done. Hey, hey. Yeah, these those actually look more like claymation models to me. Yes, mm. this is promotional stuff. Bow down to the leader. <laughs> Did, so who else who else is enjoying the fact that we have pirate Leo? Fucking here next. Okay, yeah. that is the actual costumes. Yeah. Those are the actual costumes, and I'm gonna tell you something right now. I don't hate them. I actually don't hate them. Um, they're wearing the they're wearing the bandana era. They're wearing the gauze on the wrists and feet. That's something they do today in the turtles today. I don't mind the fact that every turtle got a new kind of headband. I don't necessarily like the head glove thing here, but I like that Raph is kept with the original bandana, and he actually Leo actually went to a type of full head covering. I don't hate that. The belts I don't necessarily despise. Just like the just like the series you grew up on, they put the they put the letters back on there. Their shells don't look awful. All right, so this is a television budget that actually managed to do better turtle costumes than the third movie. Yeah, right, I'm biased on this yeah. one, but I think Raph looks better than all of them. That's my opinion. I I, I don't mind uh, Zoro Leo. <clears throat> <laughs> um, yeah, it does. It's hey, very much like hey, that Zorro mask. Hey, that, come that, on. He, hey, we got Luchador Donnie. Yeah, yeah you got I Luch actually Donnie. hate that. D yeah, I don't like I think Mike, Donnie got Mike fucked. and Donnie's masks I don't like. I prefer Mikey's over Donnie's, but not by much. Yes. In fact, I think Donnie's looks retarded. Yeah. It's like uh, they put a condom on his head. They also, <laughs> they also went out of their way to give Donnie something that made sense to his character. He has a utility belt. Well, that's because he's the gadget man. His belt has stuff. Yeah. Where the others are I'm more prone to use things. I'm fine with that. And I'm going to tell you something right now. I know everybody hates her. Venus? I really like Venus's design. Looks, I think Venus looks to Milo looks great. That is a female turtle, and it looks fine to me. I could believe that in an alternate universe where these were four girls instead of four guys, she would have been Leo. I can see that easily without a problem, no problem I at like all. I like the yin yang side. I think she looks fine. On her, on her arm and her leg. Mm hmm. Also, during the course of the series, she's the more enlightened and she's heavier trained than a lot of the other turtles. She's the better fighter. Uh, no, in terms of the mystic arts, the actual getting into the key level of ninja, using special abilities and yeah, things of that nature, she's mostly she is on. highly trained, where they're just starting to learn, like, meditation. Yep. So Leo's still the better fighter when it comes to, like, physical prowess? In terms of technique, yes. Raph is definitely stronger. You do get to see that. Yep. Is Mikey the leader? Mikey's fast. I, I mean, these... I don't know if this I, is crazy, I know, Mike. I'm telling you, I'm being honest with you, these costumes are not bad. Look at the hands. They look fine. I, I don't see, like, the... I guess, like I this, the elbow in the last and... In the last movie, did you notice the seams... On the legs, like the awful, awful heavy, you could tell that it was like a sock that they pulled all the way up. Mm, yep, yep. That's not there. Look at their arms. It looks, it does, I mean, that's a television I, I, show. I, I, I'm probably hating on it because I think the show sucks. It does. Yes. But yeah. four but, episodes taught me that this is going to be a difficult 15-episode hike. Oh, so you mean it's kind of like uh, Bond's Master I do. It's a hell of a hike. It's a hell of a hike, Shane. It's going to be rough, man. But, Dude, but Scott I, and I made it. Netflix is easy to watch. <laughs> Barely. Oh, I'll it put it on. Shit. Stream, watch an episode. I see. Move on to the next episode. This is a fantastic episode. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're going to be doing what I was doing, which is play it while you're Then you're fucking... not going to be very helpful when we get to the review. <laughs> but I got ears. I hope so. You're going to have to be good because there's a lot to see. Because yeah. we're going to be talking about the sewers and the way that it's... Look, man, you got to like review the show. Yeah. I do like how they got elbow pads and knee pads. Yeah, for that's, her. that's stuff that exists in today's Turtles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and see, uh, he kept with the originals. It's more like it's okay, like Raph did and Leo kind of stuck. But Donnie actually plated himself. He has armor pads. Yep. That goes into the character that makes sense for what Donnie is, especially these are older turtles. 
They're trying to distance themselves from where they were. They do have more materials to work with. They've grown and learned by this point. Yep. So, Next. So uncomfortable. I know. Trust me, the Max and Relaxer chair is not as comfortable as it normally is. There is Venus. I like the ponytail. Everybody, I like, every, how, they, I like how she braided yes. her uh, uh, yeah. headband. She don't have hair. No. She braids the headband. It looks feminine. Yeah, she looks she looks fine to me. I know everybody loves to hate on Venus. I don't know her enough to hate her. Everybody despises her. You go on you go on the internet, everybody despises her. And the second I brought this up, I got the same comment all the time. Fucking turtle tits, stupid fucking Venus de Milo. I'm gonna yeah. tell you something right now. In the four episodes I've seen, she's the best fucking thing in the show. Best fucking thing in the show Who's is worse. Her. You gotta be somebody who's the worst. Not Mikey. Uh, Probably the villain. Turtle wise. We know. don't I have don't to remember the villain. We don't have to deal with Shredder yeah. very long. He's oh, out, he's yeah, out of the really. scene fast. Yeah. Uh it's hard to t- look, the voice acting also, she probably has the best of voice. Dude, the voice acting in this is oh man, it's so bad. The acting Look, Saban is always famous for some bad acting, but these turtles, man. Right? <laughs> those voices, they don't seem like they match. There's Leo spends an entire episode trying to break his head on bricks <laughs> while they make fun yeah. of him. Like well, that's dumb. Oh, you dude, you don't even know. And Raph, uh oh that voice. Raph and his bike. Dude, yes. Uh and then Splinter. Uh dude. You think we made fun of Splinter? This oh, show wait, wait, made wait fun of Wait till you Splinter. show him on here. Wait till you show him on here. So. Next. God, Donnie looks so bad. Yeah, he oh does. my God, they screwed Donnie up. And their muscles even came back. Look, they're yeah. big. Yeah. They're I do. I do. I do like ripped. because he likes to fight. It seems like his mask is a little bit more torn up. Yep. Uh, like I said, the Zoro mask is cool. The Lucha mask thing is the condom is passable. Dumb. Yeah, he has like a face if you're, If your favorite turtle is Donnie, I'm sorry. I really am. The rest of him works for me, though. Uh, this mask is bad. Just give him a different fucking but headband. Th- I, I, don't mind, I don't mind the fact that they gauzed their, their feet and arm area. That, that, that's fine to me. I like that they brought back these little symbols that came from my childhood and put them, they, they put them on the belts, but they seem a little more practical and a little more cool. I like how he wears his on the other side. Yes. I don't know where he is because his hands are in the damn way, but probably on the other side. I, I think Venus is, is actually on her normal belt. belt. Yeah, I think she yeah. wears it on her belt. Yeah, like she wears it right here on the belt. Yep, and then since, she, but since her is like has, the normal turtles. Venus has these two things, these bands with the yeah. little What's yin-yang her symbol. She uses these type of metal orbs, mm-hmm. but she uses a lot of mystical power. She's she's a trained ninja mystic in the mystical arts. Okay, that's cool. So unlike, she's like a Naruto character. Oh. Instead of being like the others, where the others are all Rock Lee esque, you know that type yeah. of thing. They they're all physical. She's okay. not. She has the chi, the power to use her inner spirits. All right. Power. <laughs> I said power. <laughs> Next, <laughs> it's fucking me up. They're sleeping turtles, and there she is sleeping. I'm guessing Donnie's sleeping. working on something. Yeah, I guess Donnie would be working on something. Everyone else binged out on pizza. Donnie was like, I ain't got time for that. And this is very much you. You would that they'll you'll see things around the lair that like they're just kind of accumulating shit here in the uh, in the terminal. Well, and they're still at that terminal. All right, they do live in the sewers. No, they don't. Shit. No, they don't. They don't live it's in the sewers. The subways. It's weird because they show sewer lids and shit all the time, yeah. but they live. Maybe in they a, have to go through the sewer to get to the turn, but the terminal. Well, they do because they live where they're supposed to be living. Is the old abandoned uh, and underground in, Ghost, in Ghostbusters? They talk about how the rail the railroad was uh uh what was it the um, subway was abandoned yeah it there's was a wreck there's yeah. there's old subways underneath New York that have been abandoned for years that's where they live and they're still there even today you could go there and it'd be, it'd be dangerous as fuck for you to wander around down there who knows what kind of people are living down there because it is still there yeah but it is supposed to be abandoned people are not supposed to be living in there but that's but that's exactly why old. they're living there. Nobody's going to go down there and check. They live in old subway tunnels. 
and they happen to live in a center, one of the central stations of that old subway tunnel. That's where they live now. They found it in Turtles 2. Yep. Cl- cleaner than a By falling cleaner into Cleaner than it. a fucking sewer. And that's the reason they have power and all those train cars and shit sitting around and all that space to break off areas where it could be training grounds and everything else. And it also gave an excuse for that. There's so much machinery for, for Donatello to play with. Yep. They're in old subways with old cars. Right. There might still be some power supplies somewhere. So. There are. Yep. They, they, when they flick the switch, yep. all the power that ran through New York City is still wired through there. Yep. Yeah. So when they flick the switch, the subway came back on just like that. You know, all someone in New York and the power station's like, something just came back on. I'm curious how minuscule of a power drain it would be. I don't know yeah. how noticeable it'd be. I, I don't understand how well, all that without works. Without the trains actually running, it's just a bunch of lights. Right. It's, it, yeah, you're right. right. And how much power New TV. York? And how yeah. much power yeah. New York uses a day in a daily basis? It's been not even a blimp. Right. They, they probably yeah. on the like, fucking oh, look, looks like Frankie let the fucking all seventy two lights in his goddamn apartment on again. <laughs> right. Next. Call that motherfucker. Uh, there's... Uh, See, there. look at him. He looks he looks awful. And he's got these skinny little legs. Yeah. Like, it's really awkward. He, and he's, he has the gauze thing, too, but it doesn't look right on him. And, and Splinter might actually be the worst-looking thing in the series. She looks fine to me. Uh, I don't com- like him. Compared to the He's fucking, awful. Compared to the fucking Toon Disney version of fucking Lon Chaney Jr.'s Wolfman... <laughs> She's perfectly fine right now. What the <laughs> fuck? Dude, he's awful looking. Next. I forgot how okay. bad that was. Yeah, so you see what I mean? That's what I mean by this has to be something promotional. It's too clean. Yeah. All right, so I'll start with the rating. That actually looks bad to because me I don't to what we Because Splinter, saw. okay. Yes. we got to go by the, the aesthetics. Because Splinter looks awful, and oh, I he don't does. like he how looks. Donnie looks with the, just the mask. Right. Just go with the numbered ones first. Everybody else is uh, passable. I'm gonna give it a two. I give. I. I. You know. I'm giving. You know. Two of the characters look awful. If this was the show, I'll agree to the two. If this was the show, I could see a two. Aesthetically, I think these guys are actually at around a three point five. I think there's things that hold them back, but those costumes. This was on television. Yeah. And those costumes look better than the second Turtles movie budget. 2.5. third? No, I actually think that the second Turtles don't look that good in comparison today. I, the, second, the second movie looks fine, right. but you could tell it's a lot of recycled stuff, and it's a little more slimmed down, and the liver spots come out, and they don't use their weapons. And I think there's a lot more personality to these Turtles. Look-wise, I think these guys are very solid. So who's left? This me. I'm gonna give it a 3.5 as well. I actually like the way they look. You won't like the way they sound. Oh, I already, <laughs> I already figured that. But I mean, compared to the last cup, yeah, no. no yeah, did, they look a lot better. Like we just see music I turtles. Don't like about it, like this is this is coming off of music turtles and turtles three, and Saban yeah. gets a hold of the property and does that. That shit is magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> So what's we got? 2.7 now that everybody's done talking. <laughs> so yeah, can't have silence for So that. with the next batch, it is the 2003 cartoon, but it also has two other offshoot series that happened during it too. So we got the normal series, we got Flash Forward, and the final one was Back to the Sewer. And we'll rate it as one series? Make your decision. No, because the costumes changed. And okay. fast forward. So here we go. Here's the here's, here's the, the orig- 2000 turtles. Yeah. Here's the 2003 original. You know, I actually can't hate that. Oh, I thought this animation was very yeah. solid for its time. I can't hate this at all. This is pretty sweet. Right. Yep. It's like pseudo anime turtles. Oh, yeah. we got the multicolored skins too now. Yep. Yes. Next. I always like this, and I. Okay, this is weird. The reason I like this imagery right here, and I look for this with every kind of turtles. This uh, split Nintendo game. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's or I don't, the arcade. Because in the original yeah. Nintendo mm-hmm. game, it was like, it was a did da 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 and it was show the turtle and show the turtle, and then at the end it went, tick, 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 you know what else I like? And showed the four. I've always liked that image. You know what else I like? I'm sorry, but the nostalgia kicks in and all you hear is, 
Now the jumping off a rooftop, get going. I like that song. I love Pizza that. I love power. that opening. Mm-hmm. No, the one I was the T U R T L E oh, power. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> oh man, when I hear that, I get pumped. You remember like those this song, like this, like the, the uh, some of the songs in Power Rangers. They changed. Made me want to fight putties. They changed yeah. the songs. Uh, the intro music changed years back with the uh, original Turtles series too, because when it went to the Red Sky era. When all the turtles and animation Teenage changed, mutant, yep, ninja, turtles. Yeah, that's Teenage what it started doing. Mutant. Mm-hmm. That that doesn't have. You the know same what I like about flow, this? Though. This this turtle song was okay. It would be like it was. It was. What more, was? It I don't was even remember. Uh, turtles counted off one, one two, two, three, four turtles. turtles. There's and no one like, better. Turtles. Yep. Yeah. It was we shredded fine. shredder. Do you it know was, the entire song. Most of it. He might. <laughs> no. He. This was. This is his turtle. This is one of my favorite. This series. is the one he liked the most. Yeah. You know what I do like about He this? might have grown up with the original like us, but this is the one that when I talk to him, he often refers to this as his turtles. Yeah. What I like about this is the fact that, like, even though you know who each, each turtle is, I like how their weapons are also color-coordinated with them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Handles. fine with that. That's, that, that's except, fairly creative. Except I don't believe Mikey's nunchucks for a second. <laughs> they're, they're not red enough. <laughs> uh, next. Look, yeah, dude, how to the clean artwork right. was very solid, dude. I remember the turtles looked menacing. They were tough looking. They look menacing because they don't have pupils. You, do you want to know yep. something, Bill? This <laughs> yet you're no. probably going to say oh. I'm wrong. Yeah, but this this has the same kind of feel as Batman the animated series does to me. I can kind of see. Ju- it. I can like, see. Like I the, can this see. This has more of a Spider-Man. To I can see comparing this to the Batman. Yeah. yeah, that I series that, that oh, series the almost matches perfectly. The, ba- yeah. the Batman was good. Yes, yeah, it was. I don't think I've seen that one. I could match this artwork to the Batman yeah. Yeah. or Batman Beyond in a way. I still, yeah. you know, Batman Beyond no. still has that. Uh, Batman and Batman Beyond are very jagged. Yeah, they're, like their elbows. Their elbows are shit. very they much. The, well, yeah. I, I was meaning more like the feel from it. Okay, not, uh, not this like series the actual art style, but like. The Batman the Animated Series feel. This series does sit in the dark a lot, and uh, it did go out of its way to fix a couple of things. Like, I know you like him, but Leonardo got the fucking hero moments when they were chased out of New York. Not Raph. Because it was not Raph. Raph does not have the skill to handle that situation. He would have died. At this point in the series, this early in the comics, this early in the lineage, if Raphael goes against the elite foot soldiers, he dies. Leo barely made it, and he was the best guy they had. And when we say elite, they are elite. Yeah, they kicked yeah. his it's not, ass. It's not just 20 foot soldiers. I'm not blinded by the fact that my favorite turtle has flaws. I know his flaws. I know that technically... He is the only one that can fight Leo. Oh yes, yeah. Don, Don in a fight one on one is dead I feel easily. Le- Leo, down. Leo and Raph remind me of Ryu and Ken. Very close to being there. But uh, Ryu just for some reason. The, no, but there were times where Ken beat him in a fight. Yeah, and I believe sparring. I can't. You can't sit there and tell me Raph has never beat him in oh, sparring. Oh, you, you see it. You see it where Raph has won those confrontations. And, yes. And the thing is, though, is that he is more But you also, if you ever pay attention to that TMNT, when Raphael is pissed and tries to fight Leo, and Leo doesn't know who Raph is, Leo's not playing games. He straight fucks the vigilante up without I contest. think Raph is the one who's trying yeah. to pull back. No, Raph is trying to hurt Leo. He's mad, and he wants revenge for the destruction of his family, and Leo is the one who doesn't know who Raph is behind the mask yet, and Leo doesn't play games. He tells, mask, him, the- he tells him, what you're doing is reckless, you're getting the fuck out of my city, and he's like, fuck you, and they fight, and Raph loses that fight until Leo realizes that it is Raphael. And then Raph beats him. In the yeah. fight. Because Leo's attitude changes. Now that's his brother, the fight is different. Leo would have trashed the vigilante without a second thought. But when the mask fell off, Raph won. So they both technically won the fight. He, Leo won the first fight, Raph won the second fight. 
Leo won the fight against the vigilante. And Raph, Raphael, Raphael beat the shit out of his brother. Yep. Now, when it comes down to that, the Sentai Review is not covering TMNT. Because technically speaking, that, TMNT... That's after the next mutation. Yes, that's after the next mutation. And as far as we understand, it is tied into the third movie, but not tied into that series in any way, which means yeah. that it takes the place of that movie and so on and so forth. It's Which means we can watch it as a palate cleanser. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to we're gonna need it. <laughs> speaking. Next. Hey, guys, I have Oh, sushi. God! This was the one thing I did not like about the 2000 Turtles. Yeah. Splinter. Uh, now, hold, hold on. I, I had no issue with him. I don't like his look. I like him. As a character, he fought. He was intelligent. He worked with the Turtles. He was a worthwhile mentor, and I enjoyed his character. I've never liked... The design? Wolf Splinter. Mm. Yeah. Like, dirty wolf splinter. To me, he doesn't even look like a rat. Yeah. Hey, mm. guys. I have sushi. Mmm. Like a... You notice that nobody's over there? Mikey's got no pupils, and it's more terrifying than the creepy stare, Mikey. They they kept pupils out of this series until, like, the second run, didn't they? I, I think they kept them out until... I think until the... the, the Ooh, back to the sewer, I think, because that's when they actually put them in. Isn't that the second run? That's more like the third. Because the first run goes until the uh, uh, abandoned New York. Oh, well, in that case, I don't know. We Next. Have, we have caused me to have nightmares. <laughs> my... Dude, what the shit? That yeah, is hilarious. This, we got to blend in. This shit hey, happens. Hey, you know what? That's more realistic than fucking trench coat and a hat. I'll give that to you. Yeah. I mean, technically love speaking, the love. Raph is still trench coat, kind of. Yeah. Which Next. One? It's not ridiculous, Inspector trench coat. Oh yeah, this shred- oh, this shredder looks like not he would fuck you trench up. Coat. Yes, right yes, the shred- well, that shredder is a cyborg. Yeah, he's a robot. He's fucking sweet looking. He is really cool looking, but then they explain his freakish strength and skill later on by revealing that he's not human. Yeah. The, even the foot soldiers look a little menacing. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I like their outfits. The design in this show was very spot. It, it, very spot on. It, it worked for what they were doing. Which Next. One? Actually, go okay, back okay. real quick, Bill. Oh, click. Now zoom in. All right. Those are the elites. Yeah. Okay, I was about to ask, are the cool ones with the fucking yes. epic hats and the epic long cloaks the elites? Those, yeah, are, those, are, sweet. those are master foot soldiers. They are the elites, the gra- the grand guards to the Shredder. And they are, they are literally hundreds of them, and Leo fights them alone, and it does not go well for him. Those guys are cool. I dig the red eyes and stuff, too. By the time everything pans out and that episode is over, Leo is alive because about 50% luck, 50% because the Shredder wanted Leo to locate the other turtles. And Leo hit a point where he could no longer win that fight, and he had to go, and there was only one direction to go, and that was towards anything that could help him, and he needed his brothers, and inadvertently he put his brothers in the line of sight. And if it wouldn't have been for Master Splinter alongside of them, all four turtles would have been wiped from existence during the fire. Because Splinter fought. They burn the building down while the turtles attempt to escape, and Splinter steps in and fights with them. And he's a beast. Is he better than the elites? Uh, think of it in the He's like the like Shredder. Okay. Yeah, he's, th- he's the only guy that can fight the Shredder one-on-one. Shane, think of it in terms of this. Do you, do you remember in the prequel movies how those were all like fairly, like, not all right until fucking Yoda comes in and pulls out a lightsaber and starts like whipping around the room like he's some sort of a fucking like top Beyblade looking shit. That's Splinter. Yeah, yeah. Splinter, his his he, little he stick is hobbles mean. in and then he goes, <laughs> "Get fucked." So I know the fast forward would be the next one if we're going story wise, but oh wait, aren't we supposed to yeah. rate these? Yes, we are. We're on rating, but uh, I always I always get my stuff ready before we go on. Four point yeah. eight. I think these guys are super solid. I'm at like, <sighs> I'm giving them a five. I really like them. I'm breaking it. <gasps> I, I, these are your best, best. Yes. Yeah. This is my six. He's dropping oh, okay. a nuke. 
No, no, the nuke perfect. comes later. Yeah, the and nuke everyone's... comes later because the nuke is the kill all. The, the nuke is the negative five. So let's see. Uh, Th- this is this is the holy hand grenade. I've never you haven't used mine yet. I think these guys are exceptionally solid. I really do. There's only a few things that hold me back. Uh, Splinter being one of those biggest things. I don't like his look. And he's the only thing that hurts these guys, but he does hurt them, so I'm at like a 4.6. So who all has their sixes left for the costumes? Uh, I'm at a 4.7, so if we do that and then divide by the five. Uh, these guys are at a 5.02, not to be mistaken with the 5.2 from earlier. All right. Now we go to the fast episode. forward. So, wait, Seth, have you used your six for costumes yet? Yep. Now, Shane, have you... Not that I can remember. So me and Shane are the only two left with sixes that we can use on costumes. Well, this is per genre. So if you were to use it on the costumes, you couldn't use it on a movie or a series or anything of that nature. I don't. Re- I can't remember if I use mine or not. And right now, this genre is turtles. See, Seth and me had it wrong. Uh, just just like we thought it was based off of costumes. You know, it's just like your all-time favorite else. ranger. You better be damn sure because right. you only get one. I already know who it is. So. This is the, is the second wave. Yeah, this is the 2003 Turtles going into the future. Yes. Eh. They there's kinda... an event that happens that pivots them into the future, and then there's flying cars and yada yada and your Batman Beyond philosophies. Yeah. Uh, Spider-Man 2099. Uh, I kind of that yeah. too. Oh, well, Bill's disappointed, so let's... Uh, uh, next. This is where I stop the series. Uh, let's, let's next I got one. six episodes into this, and I stopped watching. Well, let's This do. killed it for me. Next. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> 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 Naked rat! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Next. What's <laughs> wrong, Shane? <laughs> Naked rat. You, you don't want to see your favorite turtle right there? Yeah, he's your favorite. Yeah. With his tongue sticking out. Look at him. Where's the other one? All defeated. There's only three turtles. Laying yeah, the, the other guy got caught in a dump, uh, a trash. Yeah. Who was that one? Naked. <laughs> I can't tell who they are. <laughs> I know. Without, without, without anything, weapons I, I, or nothing, I, I don't know. I think it was Mikey who went into another vehicle. Uh, sounds about right. Next. That looks like Donnie hanging over like, oh, God, fun to die. And then because they were in the future, uh, future tech turtles. And future April O'Neil? No, no, future April and Casey's kid. Yes. Eh, fair enough. Uh. Does he have laser swords? Like lightsabers? Hey, I... guess what? Menacing Mikey's back. I will say this. Splinter, to me, looks better. Yeah, he looks more like a rat again. But yeah, they do yeah. gain some yeah. laser weapons. So I'm kind of digging rat. Next. So wait, does that mean not Mikey now, is but... using lightsaber nunchucks? So that's him right there. That's that's the turtles. That's the future. Uh, uh. Yes, it's four kids. Uh, no. I think they're getting sued. Which part? Raff and the fucking red Batman on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, beyond. Yeah. I, I, I think they're getting sued. <laughs> I, I, I do like me some Terry McGinnis. <laughs> so, uh, secret um, oh, you son mean, of Batman. Yeah, I was about to say, oh, you mean Bruce Wayne 2.0? Actually. You mean next. clone. Yeah, he's clone because he's not smarter no. than Batman. He's 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 not a clone. Actually, he's yeah, biological he's... kid. Yeah, it's Amanda good. Waller yeah. rewrote uh, yeah. Terry's. Yes, that's a Terry's that's a dad's futuristic dad's suit. Stuff. Right. No, I'm loving Raph's weapon. Why is Mikey in a suit? No, that's not Mikey. Or that's not Mikey, Don. Fucking Donnie. See, I'm sorry. I'm, my brain's still wrapping around the fact that <laughs> we have menacing Mikey back, and I'm terrified. He's Next. dapper as fuck. That's it. That's it for the fast forward. Oh, I yeah. got to see one laser weapon. That was pretty cool. Uh, 3.5. Which means that Leo has laser swords. Which means that those could be laser nunchucks. I'm going to give this a 2.5. I'm going to 3. Which, I which mean, Gas got? 
It's not horrible, but I I don't feel like it's average either. I feel like you actually have Come to on, enjoy Shane, this. Pick a score. To like this. You know what you got to rate it. Obviously, I'm these back. are not the worst we've seen, so. It's true. <laughs> they're it's the true. Be- they're not the best we've seen. But they they're are. in the middle. They're, yeah. they're in the middle. Uh, um, uh, uh, three. These guys hit a 2.5 for me for one major reason. The future gimmick thing was way over fucking utilized. It's not just them. It was these guys fall into a category that hurts them because for some reason every single person ever thought that this was the thing to do. Batman, future. There's Terry McGinnis thing. Uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, future, Spider-Man, 2099. Spider-Man Ultimate. Yeah, the, 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 even the yeah, because yeah, Spider Man went to a futurist planet thing. The cartoons, this was their idea. Just like in the early '90s, for some reason, cartoons got this idea that if you made them kids, we would give a shit again. Yeah. Like uh, <laughs> a pup named Scooby Doo, Flintstone Kids, and Flintstone Kids, and you all lay these off cartoons. A pup named Scooby Doo, though, I'm just saying. Good shit. I'm just saying. This was now, the Muppet idea. Babies. No, but but even still, this was the idea at hand was to take everything in one direction. They did it with Tom and Jerry kids. Yes, Tom and Jerry kids. This was what they wanted to do. Right. And then this was the next wave of that. They said, people are starting to hate this, so what do we do now? Uh, Future everything. And this, to me, that's why it's 2.5. Because the gimmick had worn old. So what did the fast forward get? 2.9. So now we go back to the sewers. We go back to the past. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, no, they're not going to the future again. No, they're going back Pupils. to the sewers. Ah. You say we just go ahead and skip that next? That's marginally better. It kind of goes back to the 2003 ones. Yes, with a friendly curve. I'm not digging it. Um, adding the pupils, and they, they also changed the art style to kind of have a more friendly, approachable look. Where the other turtles, if you cornered them somewhere, you might not want to press it any further. These guys, I feel like I could walk up and get me a hug. I think Leo actually looks really cool. And I still feel like he would hug me. Mm-hmm. Right. Like he's he's no, my no, Mikey, he's my good guy. Mikey friend. would definitely hug you. He looks Mikey like he might lick you. Yeah, he looks Mike, like Mikey he's looks in the crazed. wrong show. He looks like he was supposed to be like a guest star for My Little Pony or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because if he's still crazy, Mikey. I mean, he might that might just no. be like mm, ice he doesn't cream. look like he has pupils. He definitely does. I know, but it doesn't they're, look like in the they're figure. just they're very friendly, approachable. That was I don't know why that was the idea for the redesign. Oh. All new CW. The CW. But CW for kids. They yeah. were definitely built on that way on purpose. Next. See, and look, look, look at April. Look at kids. Like, this. Casey Jones, the guy who's supposed to be like a hard ass. I could walk up, give that dude a high five, the bro hug, and be like, hey, bro, you want to go get some brewskis? Right. And he'd be like, no, nah, man, how about some juice? They're all very approachable, which takes them out of the dark for me. I'm not digging this. Next. Again, it's still not as bad as some of the shit that we have no, seen. No, it's not. And oh, this, yeah. this is during the wedding between Casey and April. Next. Where the fuck are those suits? Tron. They have no more pupils. I honestly do not remember whatever this is. That is their digital armor. Why attire. wasn't this the future tech? This would have looked cool. Yeah. I'm loving the I'm loving the double bow staff thing. <laughs> two four swords. swords. If two swords are not enough, we'll try four swords. Still, hey, it worked for Zelda. Yeah. yeah. And then and then you know he's got his cool looking size and he's got. You put your tongue back in your mouth. <laughs> he can't, can't do it. <laughs> can't. Next. Impossible. Okay. Okay. So there's those guys. Uh, two point five. Oh, two. Two. I'm going three. Two. Team and T. Well, we have to cover all of it. Suit wise, we're covering okay. the biggest yeah, yeah. changes and the most monumental I, impacts. 
that I that I felt were necessary to get us through the lineage. Okay. I'm thinking, I guess a two. I mean, I almost want to give it lower. I feel like if you're horrible. if you're a fan of it, you'll appreciate it. Two point three. It, it's fine, like you said. It's not bad. It's, it's just, just that the change. Feel right. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, I feel like they're all my if buddies. That's technically the same series. It is. That's it's the same. The same storyline lineage. That's a severe, drastic change. Yeah, right? it's a very, it's a very major attitude. It's change. It's like they were like, "Oh yeah, we're kind of hardcore motherfuckers." Then it was like, "Then we're in the future." It's the reverse. And then when they came back, they're like, "Dude, the future was amazing. Give me a hug." It's the reverse of what they did in the original series, where it started off friendly and goofy, and then they tried to hard it up. Yep. And then this one started really dark and gritty, and then they were like, "Let's friend it out a bit." The future so, fucking so sucks. It makes hard asses and get... a bunch of pansies. <laughs> so here we are. Nope. These guys got a 2.36. Okay, now on to the next guys. TMNT. I think I actually remember going to see this in theaters. So I, I did. did. Next. Yeah. Didn't we all go together? No. I Couldn't went say with for my sure. brother, sister, my mom, and then my mom's friend and her two kids. Bill, didn't we go together? Can't remember. I know I seen it in the theaters. God, that was eleven fucking years. And then ago. I know I got it on Blu-ray. I know for a fact I didn't sit up with you guys. I didn't know you. Yeah. Not yet. No. Not yeah. yet. I saw this in theaters. I, did, I met I met you later that year. Yep. Yeah. But I, I did not know you at that time. Literally, when we went to go see this movie in theaters, <clears throat> it was literally fucking an empty house because the movie had already been out for like fact. two or three weeks. So we went in and there was like no. As a matter I mean, of fact, started standing. No Hold on a second. That that came out March thirtieth of two thousand seven. Yep. No, I, went, I enlisted I'm... in the United States military six months after that. Next. So yeah. God, that's been a few. Months. Doing a tell. Yeah. Next. See, and he looks thin like he should. Raph actually looks pretty fucking bad. Pretty buff. Next. Mikey's a goofy, crazy son of a bitch. Yep. yep. Crazy Mikey. Next. Next one's back. Leo's trying to forced, be a Jedi. Forced warrior Leo. Yeah, he yep. was. Uh, he exiled himself after what he felt was a failure in the team that he put on his own. His, he put it on his own head. He said, "He said I screwed up. Something's wrong with the way I command. Something's wrong with my technique. Something's wrong with my stratagem." I'm going to go away. I'm going to figure out what it is. I'm going to be the hermit of the woods and be like Yoda. Well, he left the country. Yeah. yeah. I think he's in South America. All yeah. right. I'm going to be the hermit of the jungle. They actually, like Yoda. There actually is a thing they talk about when people have seen him and Wait, what he's doing he for the area. They call him something, like the ghost of the woods or something. Mm. Yep. Next. There's, There's the... Vigilante Wrath. Isn't Donnie making his... Nope, Armor. Donnie does not know what's happening, nor, do, nor does Mike. Uh. They think that Raph has fallen into a stupor where he sleeps all day and, and is irritated night. with everybody, and he's just waiting for... They know that when Leo left, something in the team snapped, and they started to decline. Leo understood his brothers in a way that the others never bothered to analyze. The others were very much an island. Raph is an island, Mike is an island... Don is an island. They have their own thing, their own life, their own stuff. Leo was the one that put them all together and said that this is what works. We are a family. This is important. And it's just like when that relative that made all the holidays happen dies, the holidays stop happening. Yeah. You stop going to see all your family on Christmas or whatever because that's no longer a thing. The team fell apart without Leo. He kept them a team. Everybody else in their own single mentality is an island. And they did exactly what they were going to do although by think, themselves. Although I think Mikey and Don kind of work together since they're getting some income to... <laughs> Don works a type of tech support and Mike Mikey's... is posing as a costumed turtle. Yeah. For parties. For parties. Yeah. 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 And Raph believes that this should have never stopped. Their job is to be ninjas. But he didn't actually cut it as a ninja the same way the others do without that guidance, so he took to the loud, angry, punching vigilante 
and stalks the streets openly on loud motorcycles with angry fists. Mm -hmm. Next. And everybody around him that knows what's going on, which is only like Casey. And Casey's not telling April. C Casey, when Casey first saw the vigilante, he's like, Raph? Yeah. Because it's like, well, you're kind of a big turtle, so... <laughs> and to be fair, nobody else could have caught that because nobody else would know about the turtles. But since he knew them, he knew who he knew that had to be somebody in the suit, and he knew who it was. Yep, because angry it's still, fist. Since this is still part of movie continuity, yep, he kind of knows who the fuck that is from the last time that shit happened. Next, and yep. that's exactly what I mean. That fight right there, that sold the whole damn movie for me. Yep. And it's at that point that Leo wants to prove a point, but I'm telling you, if you watch that movie, when the mask comes off, Leo's attitude towards the fight changes. And he no longer wants to hurt this guy. He's still mad, and his brother is still pissed, but Raph comes at him with much more severity than Leo comes at him. And when Leo loses, Raph almost kills him. And He's then, that kind of angry. And then realizes he really screwed up when Leo gets captured. Well, he realizes he really screwed up before that. Oh, yeah, when the sword snapped. When he all... Well, that's, it's not the snap. The snap of the sword isn't what, isn't what did it. When the snap happens, Raphael jumps and tries to stab Leo in the face and misses and hits the, hits the ground and almost kills Leonardo. And then when his mind snaps back in and all that anger kind of kind of leaves him for a second, dissipates, he realizes that if he had not pulled at the last second, he would have killed his brother. And he wouldn't have been as, about as bad as the Shredder. He might have been worse. Yeah. Because yeah, where he, he is... he successfully killed a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> well, where he, is, where he is right now is a bad place. Yeah. He's not, he's not supposed to be a vigilante like this. He's, this is not something he's doing because he wants to help the world. He's angry. Mm -hmm. Next. Splinter looks awesome. He's got a fucking epic beard. I'm okay with this one. Yep. He's like a fox. I'm not okay with that one. Ninja April is nothing I've ever cared for. Yep. Not every woman needs to be a fucking warrior. I get it, okay? Woman, empowerment, yada, yada. I get it. I really do. But there are different kinds of people in the world. Not every man is a hardcore martial arts boxer. Not every woman is warrior. Yeah. Some women are intelligent people like April was. Intelligent, investigative reporter. That's fine. She doesn't have to be a ninja. I think in this one, not only was she a ninja, I think she was some kind of a, uh, I want to say Indiana Jones-like, because she was going around looking for she's still working. She's still working for some company, yeah. but yeah. I don't understand exactly. It's some sort of news when, company when or something. Indiana Jones, no, Indiana she started her own. Makes me think Laura Croft. She started her own company delivering things. Yeah, things, yeah. It's a delivery service. So she mm -hmm. jumped into business for herself. Next. Raph is still big. Mikey actually really looks small. Yep. The weird thing is, I know they're all turtles, but in this, Mikey looks a little mousy. I was thinking more like a snake to me. Or a snake, yeah. Mm -hmm. Next. Casey walking around with all those fucking things <laughs> makes me laugh. <laughs> right. Next. And especially considering oh. the fact of what the big bad was doing. He didn't get my favorite picture, but that's fine. My all time favorite image from that from that um from that uh movie, movie is at the very end when he gets knocked when Leo gets knocked into that crate and it breaks open. And then he gets up and starts picking up every sword and weapon in the area and starts strapping it to his back. And all of a sudden he has like nine weapons. Yep. I love that image, dude. Gilgamesh. I haven't seen this movie in a while. But Raph broke the katanas? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
Because I know the scythes are a defensive weapon. Yeah, they're yes, yes. actually meant to be sword-breaking mm. weapons. Uh, they're meant to be farming tools. Well, that too. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, their original design was for farming, <laughs> yes. but, but they're a defensive yeah. weapon. As right. a defensive weapon, it it breaks swords. Yeah. Shut up, Bill. I think I, I'm going back to a four because this looked like the attire looks the same as like the original movie turtles. So I like that their pads. This is a small thing, but their pads went to a brown color. Mm -hmm. That's important because it actually helps the bandana stand out and it keeps the turtles dark while not overdoing them where the bandanas are all bright blue and then the pads are bright blue. Yeah. And they didn't they didn't have to, like, the next mutation, I'm fine with adding a little bit of character. I don't like when it's overdone. Right. But I'm fine when they added a little character to the suits and grew them up. But here, I'm also fine with the fact that they stuck to the original designs. Um... I like that. I like that too. I like okay. Like uh, to me, I think Splinter looks like a fox, not a rat. I still think he looks cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, would you rather? I have will agree with Splinter that. Back? I will agree with that though. Fox. He does look like Fox Splinter now. I don't know. I I kind of was thinking Squirrel Splinter, but I mean, at <laughs> fox, same time, I mean, no. It's fox just because it was a shit cool. angle at that one. I kind of feel like he looks like a red fox. Yeah. No. Uh, Can't uh, let that, you and, do and, that, Splinter. And that's fine. I don't care. You know, like you said, women empowerment, I don't care. You want to make her a ninja? Let's see what she can do. See, I just don't think it works for her. I don't like April is not supposed to I, be I, a I warrior. Know, I know I know in the Archie strong. comics they tried to make her a somewhat warrior woman. See, that's I, I they, But it didn't last pushing, that long, so they've pushed this for years, but for me, April's design character creation, not like a new April like the Nickelodeon April, that's a different April. But the April that starts out as a scientist, like in the 2000 Turtles, that April is not a warrior. That April is intelligent. That doesn't mean she can't learn to fight, but she doesn't need to be a ninja. I don't like Casey. I don't like Casey's design. He doesn't bother me. I think he's the worst one in the, in, the, in this movie. That's my opinion. I think everybody's skinny, so he, like, that's the reason. He, if he would have just been the one looking weird and skinny, but everybody's kind of twiggy yeah. in this. So, so yeah. since it's a lanky design anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go with a 4.5. I do like it. I mean, I liked, I liked the vigilante armor that Raph wore. I like, I like, uh, I like, uh, Obi-Wan Leo. I like, um... <laughs> obi Lee Kenobi. Ova, obi <laughs> Lee. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Raph, use the force. Too much force! Too much force! <laughs> you broke my swords! Too much force! <laughs> I'll give it a 4.3. These were actually really yep. nice. I'm at I do remember enjoying the movie and when I, I went know, to see it. I know Leo held back. But this, but still, for this one, at one moment, it really felt like Raph finally had it. Yeah, he was the better fighter. He beat Leo, and I understand that Leo held back. I got, I get, I get you. But I've always, I, I, I've never switched turtles. You know, I've, I've stayed only a Raph fan. I like all four turtles. Yeah. But Raph always stuck out for me. I like him. I like his attitude. The turtles are like the Ghostbusters. You pick a favorite, but oh. it doesn't work unless all of them are there. Peter. Egan. But do Egan. a show with just Peter. No. That's what I mean. He needs the others. They need, they, he needs the others for his comedic relief to bounce off of. They, they work because of the team aspect. Yes. And the turtles are that way to me. If you do a series with only two of them, I don't think it works. Like the Fantastic Four. Right now, that book is trying to do the Fantastic Two, where it's just Ben and Johnny. It's just Ben and Johnny. And sure, they work, but there's something missing. That, you're missing, you're missing the, the motherly you're attention from married couple. Well, here's the thing Reed was always the intelligent one, you know, the leader of the Fantastic Four. Sue always had that motherly feel, you know. Just, well, 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 that's my kid. Well, brother. she watches the team. She is the defense figure. Yes. Ben is the bruiser. Ben and Johnny do work well together because they're always giving each other a hard time. But you need other. You need more than just comic relief. 
Okay, so what we are score? on... Score is uh, a yes. 4.22. By the way, my phone's fun and going to die, so... Uh, Sweetness. Yeah. Oh, wait, Let no, us do... I don't need to. Plug that bitch in. We are now on the first... <laughs> is that the newer style? The work? first Nickelodeon. We're on the first Nick cartoon, oh, not the second but Nick 2014. cartoon. But 2014. I like the OG nope. Nick cartoon. Okay. Nope. I thought Nick did a really good job in that cartoon. There you go. He's not listening. Yep. Hold on. This cartoon. Oh, I don't like it. Okay. You say you don't? No, I don't like it. Oh, I love this cartoon. Yeah, this one's fucking awesome. This this is one of the best turtle series they've ever. Oh yeah, done. here's the thing though, that's a series. No, the I realize that. Series can be fucking fantastic. I realize. I that. don't like how they look. It looks like somebody punched fucking Donnie in the mouth. Now he's had a gap in between his teeth. <laughs> that's because he does. Yeah. That is quite exactly what happened. Who they give him? a slight backstory, a slight background story in the very first episode. Where Raphael says, put the stick down, and you don't have to get hurt. And he says, I put the stick down last time, Raph. You hurt me. He's missing a two. Here's the problem, though, man. Donnie and Mikey can't fight Raph. No, it's just, no. The reason Leo needs to fight is because Leo can't fight. No, technically Mikey can fight Raph. Like, he can't do damage, but he can fight him. Once in a He's blue very moon, hard to hit. Once yes. in a blue moon, Mikey can beat Raph. Once in a blue yes. moon. Mike, Raph's biggest problem is my biggest problem. Temper. Yeah, once you're mad, you don't think straight. Next. Mikey's at the aloof. There's that image feeling. I like. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't like their knee pads. They look like bricks. They look huge. It's to the art style. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's because it, it is very much the art style. Mikey's nunchucks are fucking long. That's not a nunchuck. Yeah. Because their arm pads do the same what is thing. That? That's Kasurigama, I do believe it's referred to. It, oh, I didn't see the blade. It's yeah. the sickle with the chain. I didn't see. Here. I didn't see the blade. Now I see it now. That yep. You could throw it as a, or you could yeah, use it can, as a sickle because it has a weight, weight at the end. end. Yep. He carries that. People. He carries that, and he carries the nunchucks. Yeah. Yep. That's another hard weapon to master. Yep. And that's also another weapon Mikey that all, you could use to climb up on things. Mikey, so he kind of has this rope with the hook on it again. It makes you wonder. Mikey gets the hardest weapons to master. But once he masters them, I wonder if he could use Leo's katanas. Donnie's No, pose. they try switching weapons. Yeah. It oh, doesn't yeah, work out yeah, for they, him. They tried that. Oh, he does, he, oh, yeah. He's a speed guy. Yeah. So he, he uses the fast weapon. Next. Oh, yeah, that's uh, Kid April. Now, do you see what I mean about why everything in this series is incredibly lanky? You could see it in April. April's human. All yeah. humans look like this. There's a weird Final Fantasy IV DS. It's yeah. like that art style where everybody's very tall and lanky. Like, everybody in the world is tall and lanky and long. Big it's a, Raph, Isn't this Raph this looks is... wider. He's it's always like, but that's he's always. right. But that's be, but these guys are mutants. They're bigger yeah. than every human in the show, yeah. unless you count like the really and big this, buff guys. And this is the series that like I, I, Donnie is a hell of a lot taller tall. and he's super tall. skinny. Yes, compared to the My, when Mikey yeah. stands up, he's going to be the shortest, the smaller one. Leo is the most lean, and Raph is the bigger guy. Raph is like the brute. April's a teenager in this series, isn't she? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. She's she's young, isn't like there, fifteen or is, is it fourteen. I, I, I want to say like very early teens. Isn't this the series where there might there's they, they hint that there's a thing between her and Donnie? Uh, Do- Donnie. Donnie. Donnie yeah. That is the first. That's her. the first girl that Donnie ever sees, and because he's augmented human DNA, he does like humans, and yep. they do too. But while these three turtles are just kind of like, that's my friend, Donnie really likes April. And obviously, yeah. I don't think April... Doesn't, doesn't ever pan anywhere. They never go down the creepy route. Okay. But it's just like a cute little thing that Donnie likes April. But even he even he kind of makes movement on it once or twice. But she's very much like, yeah, you're... Isn't this animal. a series where uh, Mikey's like, they've got brains. Yes. Yes, Mikey. We all have brains. Yes, this is that series. Yes. In our stomachs? No, <laughs> no Mikey, Mikey. Not in our stomachs. Yeah. <laughs> Man, thought he turned into a snake. Wait, what? You don't understand science, Raph. <laughs> this is because his name is Snake. And he's like, yeah, but that doesn't mean <laughs> Did you just snake weed. <laughs> you don't understand science, Raph. Oh, man, what am I going to call this guy? Mikey. 
<laughs> Dude, I love this. <laughs> this series is amazing. Yes. Next. Is that a motherfucking VHS? Yep. 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 People throw them away. That's Anything how they get. That ends up in the sewers. Is theirs. That's how they get everything they have. Is like mm. dumpster diving at Goodwills and shit. Yep. What's a VHS? Yeah, right. I will slap that. you like a redheaded step. Next. Child. Oh my god. Leo's scared. What's an eight track? Now that one I understand. <laughs> to be fair, he should be scared. Yep. Yep. Because I know this is not what we do. We're grading aesthetic, but right now, if they're in the woods, this is the. Entire season, like it's it's, a, it's not a whole it's 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 like an entire volume yep. of episodes, like ten or t- thirteen episodes long. Uh, I think this is like quote season three in the yep. DVDs. It's dedicated it's to one. Halloween. Oh, yep. it's probably the one I had to get to then. Every single yeah. episode, literally every single episode, is a horror movie. Yep. So they fight. Be- they fight Freddy Krueger. They, they they have to be careful. These are all. In quotations, but they fight Freddy Krueger. They fight Jason. They fight the Hills Have Eyes they ideas. Fight, they fight, they fight like some like do they fight Leatherface? demon car thing that's supposed to be like Carrie. And yep, like they fight Carrie. Isn't there a, a villain in the Turtles? Leather something? Leatherhead. Yeah, different guy. He, yeah, yeah. Leatherhead. which Leatherhead starts out as a friend. Well, kind of well, gets a little kinda, mad, and then he he he's yeah. kind of like bad at first, and then it's like because he was mad and upset, and <laughs> yeah. Next. There's yeah. all of them. Oh, that, and see, here's the other thing. Teams. When you look at this, this is not going to be fair to them because it it's these are images, just like my pyramid. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> what you're seeing here, we didn't even have to mention. They this shouldn't episode. have eyes. No, they should not have eyes. Yep. This is a fight scene. The eyes go away in combat. Yep. Every time the turtles move to attack, their pupils go away. Yep. And they become those really cool white eye turtles. So they shouldn't have eyes? And the animations, yep. the animations... Well, neither should next. Hills. The animation in this... Like Super Mario Brothers 3. Yeah, those fuckers will stare at Yeah, this you. is... Still yeah. images do nothing for this show. In fact, it was still fucking images that made me hate this show. This... These fucking pictures, I said, I don't like the way they fucking look. And it took me, it took me almost till they were on like, see, like the fourth fucking DVD was out. Yep. By the time I finally said, I'll get the first one. If nothing else, Gwen can watch it. It's ten fucking bucks. So I bought it at Walmart, went home, and then uh, she never got this DVD. <laughs> I watched the whole fucking thing in one sitting, all 13 episodes, and went back to Walmart. And yep. got the other three. Shit. It's that it was, good. It wasn't until I was sitting around at my parents' house back when I was still living with Jen, like four fucking years ago, when, when her and her uh, ex fiance were a thing, and we all were sharing the same apartment. I was like, fuck, I got to go do laundry. So I went to my dad's to do laundry. I was like, shit, that Ultimate Spider Man should be on. Let me flip over to Disney XD. Fuck, it's not on. Screw it, what's on TV? How about Nickelodeon? And this came on, and I was like, fuck eh, it, I'll whatever. watch an episode. It's where my attitude Six was. Six episodes later, my laundry is still done, and the washer hasn't been switched over. I just got done working a third shift, and it's like three in the afternoon, and I'm still like, this is Dude, the turtles. The, the, it's, the continuity the, is fucking amazing. I, 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 I was in a similar situation. I saw these image images and saw a few uh, bits and pieces of the show, and I'm like, that just looks horrible. Yeah. Compared to the other stuff I've seen and liked. Yep. And then when I started actually watching, it's like, yep. this is good. All the storyline that's put down, like the like the Shredder's daughter and yeah. the Turtles yeah. and the little, the little pieces of character study that I'm telling you, in the first fucking episode, they went out of their way to put character study in the first fight. Donnie, Donnie fights with Raph. And then Mikey fights with Leo, and then Raph and Leo fight. And you could tell that this fight has happened multiple times. But Leo actually handicaps himself at the start. He throws one of his swords away and decides to fight Raphael with one sword. Because Leo has won with two swords. Mm -hmm. So, it's now time to move to the next level. To push himself. To be dedicated. 
to learn to be better and surpass the weakness that he has. Yep. And he loses to Raph. He overestimates his ability and loses to Raph in that fight. And Raphael then goes out of his way to talk about how great he is because he won that fight. And then Splinter shows up and smack. And then Splinter <laughs> makes a joke of all four of them, showing them that these children are children. There's still a long way to go. You're yeah. still in the junior leagues, children. Hey, Shane, mm-hmm. take a look at your favorite turtle real quick. He's the turtle that lived. He's Turtle <laughs> Potter. <laughs> <laughs> No. Yeah, Raph has bolt. damage. Yeah. Raph has no, more it, damage the than the others. It's a lightning bolt. That's because, right. That's because Raph fights more. Raph takes bigger risks and relies on his strength more, and that's something they go into. There's, there's even a point where they removed Leonardo and put Raph in charge of the team. Yep. And Raphael had to make leader decisions and came to find out there's a lot more to that job mm-hmm. than saying go mm-hmm. beat people up. Yep. yep. Did he ever do a good job? It's not that he did a bad job. It's that he didn't understand. Yeah, he didn't understand the complexity of the leadership policy. Like, it's it's like when you're sitting at work and you're bitching about the bosses, and then one day you get to take over the boss's job and you realize it's a lot more of a pain in the ass. Now, where you work at, bad example because your bosses right. get to sit around and watch YouTube all night and go, "Hey, fucking get to picking, F- fill up boxes." Okay. But I've worked at jobs where quite literally, like, I've been like, man, this boss doesn't know what the fuck they're doing, and I had to take over the boss's job, and I'm like, oh, this is a lot harder than I thought. Until Next. I got into the rhythm. Okay, that's and it. There we go. That's the end of these guys, and they are getting screwed because images do no fucking justice. Right. Th- these turtles are designed to work with double animation styles because they're CG, but then there's these weird, like, hand-drawn, like, effects that happen in the middle of the series, like yeah, the cry yeah. marks and the angry and the way the pupils go away and the action scenes. And the show, in motion, is way good. It's, it's a hardcore blend between Western and Eastern animation. It literally is fucking American Three style with anime. Still frame pictures hurt this. Three point five. I love the series, but the aesthetic. I In have fact, to give it a three. Proof of it. Turn around and look at the figures behind you. Yep. That's what they look like. Yep. And even that splinter behind the splinter is And the splinter is my favorite splinter that has ever appeared in any continuity ever. Yeah. He is the best splinter I have ever seen. Yes. He's the one with the kabuki crazy face. Yep. I'm going to give this uh, pie. 3.14? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What of you? Uh, I'm just going to give it a straight three. I mean, yeah. I... <laughs> I hate it <laughs> in certain yeah. aspects. I don't mind it in others. But it's definitely nowhere near some of the shit that we've seen today. He gave it Shane's penis size. I mean, four, ah! four point six. <laughs> because I know what it looks like in motion. Uh yep. The pictures don't help it, but I've seen this work. And I can grade aesthetically knowing that it actually does work and looks great in motion. It's a 4.6. I'm going to go the whole way out on this one. It's a 3.628. So technically a 3.63. Are you ready? Uh, Are you um, ready? um, What are we doing? Michael Bay! Boom, boom, explosions! Here we go. Fucking one. (laughs) Done already. I ain't got it. Nope, I'm done. My fucking fireworks. (laughs) But Raph is huge mongus. Like fireworks. The That's only one the only one on there I even kind of like is Donnie. I'll agree to that. It's because he's like all teched out and shit. Nope. Nope. Sticking with my bias. But regardless, <laughs> sticking with Raph. This is bad. Oh, it's bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's bad. bad. I didn't like these tur- I mean, I don't mean... The movies, I guess, were... The designs were shit. I haven't seen a shit. single one of these movies. They're okay. Me neither. I've seen them. They're fine. 
they're fine. And then from from time to time, they do feel Ninja Turtles. The first one, the second one, not so much. The first one does have moments where it really hits that stride, and it feels like really? a Turtles movie. You yeah. Know, you need the second one, dude. I mean, no. Casey's got anger problems. Thanks. Like the only Thanks for thing bringing I've up seen Casey. about this movie is like the elevator scene, because somebody told me about it, and so I looked it up. Oh yeah, the elevator scene that was actually pretty cool. Next, Raph took steroids. Jesus, he's yeah. fucking. He, it's a monkey turtle. It's a yes. goddamn gorilla. Oh, trust me, it's gonna get worse. He keeps roiding out more. He gets bigger as the movie goes. Okay, next. No. Um, I liked Splinter. Uh, Splinter. He does look, look like look a rat. Bad. He looks like a rat. Yeah, yeah, fine. He's an ugly rat. That that's fine with me. God damn. He's um, the best out of the five of them. I don't like the turtle shoes. <laughs> I don't like the turtle pants. I like. I don't 1. like 2. the turtle sweater. I don't like this. Oh, the wood armor. I don't think it's actually an armor. I don't know. Yeah, what that's the, an armor, Bill. No, I think that's supposed to be signifying something. Uh, they use those to stop arrows, and then they got better at making I was metal gonna, stuff. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I want to say that's an actual symbolism, if it, I remember it, right. It's also armor. Next, I'll have to look that up honestly, because I feel like I remember this meaning something, and it's not an armor. What the no, fuck I'm sorry. is Mikey wearing? That weird thing around his fucking neck, that chain thing. What the fuck is that? I think those are sunglasses. Hang yes, on. those are sunglasses yeah. and Mardi Gras beads. Yep. He's the party dude. dude yep. look yeah, at, well, look he's at, fucking retarded. Look at Raph's biceps. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> they're, t- they're three times the size of Donnie. <laughs> they're bigger than Raph's face. Oh, my God, dude. This <laughs> motherfucker works Raph's out. Raph's biceps are as big as Donnie is wide. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. When I, you know, I've seen the movie. Calm down here on Barrett Turtle. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. There ain't no Remember, getting off this train we are. What that, train that, is that, that creatine? That last picture we saw when they were kind of standing next nope, to each other. I know what happened. And Donnie's supposed to be the tallest? No. Dude, Raph fucking popped some roids, man. No, 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 no. no. Raph got up early in the morning, went to Chris Redfield's house, and had creatine pancakes. Next. Yep. Hey, now, now Donnie's taller. Okay. Like he's supposed to be. Yep. Now, this scene was actually pretty cool. I like the elevator scene. It's just... Uh, oh, Raph's got sunglasses. Like, in Mikey's face. Oh, Jesus. That's yes. why I said I changed it do, to a 1.2 do, do because fucking why? Splinter brought it up barely. God, it's just the... Mikey looks like a very creepy turtle-esque Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> turtle Buddha. I can see it, surprisingly. Seth knows where I'm coming from. His fucking turtle Buddha. Uh-huh. Dude. Raph just looks like a goddamn bruiser with no brain whatsoever. And? Gah, heck, go on foot. Yeah, like that. Uh, all turtles got captured but Raph. <laughs> what was that? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, almost everything that Leonardo wears... Is some kind of symbolism. Is a symbolism to what he is. Some of it is armor, without a doubt, but it's not It's not even built for practicality. It's because he is very much Kendo Samurai lifestyle. Except for that pin on his fucking strap. That's weird. The NYC. That's New York City. Yeah. That's I love my city. And uh, Donnie's got extendo stick. And Raphael is very I'm a street punk ass. Yeah. Who punk? Donnie is a technophile. Oh, um, oh yes. Yes. Of yes. the highest caliber. Of the highest caliber. Next. And just my Are you two a thing? Hey, it's Casey. Uh, I really don't like Mikey. <laughs> Next. You can skin me alive with your fucking nunchucks. Oh, wait, you can't because you ain't menacing Mikey. See, but then, then, like I said, there's moments where it really does capture the Ninja Turtles feeling. This is a hard sell. They look awful, and that hurt the movie 
devastatingly because like when Mikey comes down from the roof and they're and Leo's trying to be intimidating because he wants to speak in the rasp because he's seen it on TV and that's where they're getting their information for humans and he's telling her he's telling her give us our stuff or whatever give us the camera it's all we want and we'll be gone and then all of a sudden she's freaking out cuz there's this fucking monster and Raph is, I'm sorry, uh, Mike is the one that comes up and he's like, shh, shh, whoa, whoa, shh, calm down. Look, it's just a mask. It's just, see, it's, it's just, it's not even, it's not even real. Like, it's <laughs> not even real. And she's like, holy <laughs> shit. But it's not the mask I was freaking yeah, out about. It's, not, it's just a mask. Cool, cool down. But that's what I mean. There are moments that if you watch this, it does feel like a Turtles movie. You want to know what else I don't like about this movie? While Leo in other movies has had to go find himself, wanted to be a better leader, I think this is the worst adaptation of Leo ever. It very well could have been. He is a shit fucking leader. But all four of these turtles in this continuity are completely untested. Yes. Does he get a fucking tattoo on his arm? Yes. Huh. He's also got That's what I mean, is everything that He's Leo has, everything that Leo has is a symbolism. I never noticed the street sign until this picture. That's the reason for all this on his belt. And their shells also look... I mean, I know turtle shells don't come off, but these, these, these look like they could come off. Like they're held with a strap. I mean, I understand that that's for his swords. I get it. But it's, it well, looks no, because like all four of them have a strap thing. Yeah. And, they're, and their shells just look super awkward. I'm not going to lie. Like they're but... super... Super way above. I think I think be. Donnie actually yeah. is a lot stronger than he looks because look what he's carrying on his shell. He's like he's got a fucking proton pack. Dude's uh, carrying yeah. around probably the same kind of well, shit. Well, I mean, considering the fact that literally it looks like he has on the exact same goggles on the top of his head is from the fucking first Ghostbuster movie. When Why does he have Bankman, glasses? What's going on? I got slimed. That's great. How did he take a test? Or are they just fake? Glasses? Do, do they have lenses? Like, a, they have lenses. Get, I know, but it makes me wonder if they wanted to make him stick stand out as the nerdy. But wouldn't it screw up his eyes to wear glasses he doesn't need? And if he does need them, how do he figure out his exact prescription and obtain them? He's a techie. He might have hacked some stuff. He can hack all he wants. He's not a doctor. He can't prescribe. I mean, he can't get the lenses. He Those... wouldn't have that kind of information. He's a tech head. Yeah, this I is, shouldn't even read snuck. into this. This sucks. Yeah. Next. <laughs> I was going to say he snuck into an like, optometrist what, at night. Why are we reading it? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh my God. Next never... again. That's Look, it. these fuckers are done. One. One. I, never, I, I mean, one. I don't like how Mikey looks. Zero. Bill Guy. One point eight. If you are a Turtles fan, you will find Ninja Turtles in that movie. You will. I swear to you, you will. Drop your bias. <laughs> By the way, it's a one. It's fine. Moving on. You're welcome. <laughs> now we're moving to the IDW Ninja Turtle comic books. Uh, this is the storyline that is running presently today. All right, that's pretty sweet. Oh, and by the way, why is this important? Eastman and Lair finally came back. Yep. I was just about to say, what's up, Raph? But you might not be Raph. It is. Mm-hmm. Is it? Mm-hmm. Did they did they, did they did they go back to all three of them, all four of them wearing uh, red? You'll see. Oh, yeah. Next. Okay, that's definitely Raph. I can tell about the weapon. Next. Yeah, they did. And there's Donnie. Yeah, these are classic cover designs. And I want to say in the book, it, it took them a couple issues before they got the color bandanas. So they do have them now. Yeah. But they're, they've actually been moving these turtles in a specific direction. All right. Next. He looks like he's kind of chubby. Dude, that's so cool. This is once again back to Eastman, like I said. Yeah. And it's got that, it's got that lanky... The, the turtles are always like strangely deformed and noir. Yep. Fair, they're supposed to. They're turtles. Right. They're 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 they're, hu- they're humanoid turtles. Well, now that they're back in control of the creators, next, they got that crazy look about them again. Yeah, Mikey definitely has his crazy look back. <laughs> He's got his nunchucks too. Next. Yes, this did happen. This was a hard fucking moment. 
Yep. Uh, That's Donnie. Yes, he was beat to death. Yep. I was going to question who the weird fox person is next uh, There are time. other mutants in the continuity of Turtles. There have yeah, been for there, years. Yeah, there have been. Like, y- you want to really he, dig I, in, I you'll think find... Mostly, I think it was mostly like in the... Uh, the first cartoon and the Archie comics where they were really a shit ton. Yeah. Well, there's always been like, like in, in the comics you're talking, there's Yojimbo, which is the samurai bunny. There's mm-hmm. the frogs. There's like three frogs that are kind of like different take on the the Ninja Turtles. There's uh, Leatherhead, of course. There's There's other mutants and aliens from other planets and things like that, like the Triceratons. Yeah. And... So who beat them? I, was it, uh, I it, um, it was Bebop and Yeah, Rocksteady. I want to say it was I I couldn't remember if it was Rocksteady or Bebop or both I of know them. they were both walking away from one image I saw. He so. got stuck fighting them alone and they're uh, look in a comic book, they're not your 1980s figure. Yep. They're mean, they're tragic, they're brutal, they're powerful and if you over if you don't really understand how dangerous they are, you're dead. You're dead. Yep. And Donnie got trapped with them alone. Well, it looks like Raph's about to fucking. Murder. He's not too happy. He's in a murder. Somewhere. And if you, if also uh, Metalhead, you yeah. see him up here. He's lost his arm. And he's got a huge dent in his torso. Yeah. So yep. Donnie's dead. Uh, he's back now because comic books and continuity and all but kinds did of they craziness. Ever, did they ever beat the shit out of Bebop and Rocksteady? There was the- there was a fight. There was like a revenge fight, if I remember. I I only, I've only got to see. I, I have this coming to me now. I'm subscribed to the IDW Turtles, and they're f- fantastic. But I didn't get subscribed Quick enough. until about five, maybe six months ago. So I missed all of this, and I've only been able to pick it up through bits and pieces. Next. Okay, that's it. Because I don't... Uh, you see Mikey crying, man. I don't. I think when that fight happens, you ain't going to see no... No, no, Mikey was actually oh, yeah, crying. Both were. They both were, but Raph was. Raph, hit. Raph was angry, crying. Mikey was fucking Sad ugly. And then sobbing. Leo looked like he was just. Distraught. Leo has to hold his composure. Three. It's just like I said. Leo's the one that puts them all together. They're all islands, and they're going to look to Leo at that point. And he has to. He has to be like, this is fine. This is fine. Will. We'll figure it out. He'll mourn. In, he'll mourn when nobody's around. Yeah. Yeah. When he's alone, that's when he'll break down and cry. Because he's allowed to at that point. Mm-hmm. Yep. But the second his brothers walk in the room, he's like, "Let's do this." I love them. I'm gonna give it a four point five because I can actually dig that. Yeah, Plus, I'm, I've always I'm liked there. the noir type, five. type of stuff. I like it. I think your wife is downstairs dying. By the way, four point three for me. What did you say, Bill? Uh, I'm I'm at a four point eight. I think they're I think they're awesome. But about Maybe even radical. Uh, wow. Bodacious. Four point three two. Ostentatious. <laughs> four point three two for the IDW turtles. Hey, look! If we can wrap this up in about three seconds, we can literally <laughs> match the last episode. Up oh, too late. Are you ready? Damn it! Missed it by that much. Rise of the TMNT. Holy Nuke shit. it! What? <laughs> I'm says, nuking this shit. He fucking says nuke it. <laughs> I can't remember. Is that a negative five? That's hey, a look, negative, negative five. Look at that, man. He's a... Uh... Because the last time I thought it was negative five, so... It's a negative five. That's yeah, a negative five. It pretty much... Uh, it it's the ultimate hate. It. It's the nuke. Who's the leader? Who's the leader? Biggest picture. Guess who the biggest turtle is. Oh, yeah, Raf. I've seen this. Raf is... Oh, boy. Next. This motherfucker pops steroids. What the fuck? What's wrong with Donnie? Why does he look dumb? He's a soft shell turtle, so he built a type of mechanical thing. They're all four different turtles now, too. They're not the same breed. Like, they've always been, like, readier sliders. Don't tell anymore. me. Don't tell me fucking Raph is a boxing turtle. I think he's a snapper. No. Yeah. And then... Next. Oh he's got the God. dumb idiot tooth. Okay, wait, wait. You said we're only allowed. To, it's like it's per genre. So like, basically, if I use a nuke on a turtle, 
I can't use it on any more turtles, but I can still use yep. it on a Sentai, right? Yep. Nuke. Negative five. Fuck this thing to hell. <laughs> Nuke it. That's his entire arsenal. Nuke goes up to a negative five. Okay, so let's see. So that's a one, that's a two, that's a three. You said no. Okay, so that's four of us, because I'm going to give them a point five. I'm going to recognize that they exist, that they got the colors right. I like the fact that they tried to go with different types of turtles. That was an interesting idea. But the art style is definitely Next. not what it needs to fucking be. <laughs> they can't even keep it consistent. Yep. That's new age Just fucking look at that's, yeah. this is This is the way animation is. Right now, animation yeah. has entered this phase. Like, we grew up in what was known as disgusting animation. Yep. Everything was Ren and Stimpy, Beavis and Butthead. Like, very, very morbid, disgusting animation. Yeah, they went out of their way to be gross just for the sake of being gross. Then things like... It's then, like the 90s. Then it kind dark of, for the sake then it, of being dark. Then it crossed into the type of Doug Funny animation things, where everything kind of hit this weird, almost done, but not quite done animation, like let's yep. just get it out there. Then animation took this curve in their generation, where now all animation is this quick, happy, fun times, uh, adventure time type of animation. Everything's quick, jagged, and funny. Everything. Yep. Even even the serious crap like Teen Titans Go. Yep. That is an animation style. Thundercats Ho. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You, you're exactly right. Everything wants to do this because that's the style of the time right now. Kind of like for a while, everything had to be CG. Yeah. Everything. Or everything had to be anime. Yes. Which is the reason the Teen Titans ended up looking the way they did. Yeah. Next. Did everybody enjoy that? I think so. so I don't know. Say, what are you rating, Bill? There's picture, so... Uh, give it a... Point two. So, Seth gave it a point five. Bill gave it a point two. Me and Scott nuked the shit out of it. Shane, uh, did you nuke it too? Yes, yeah. he did. So, it's at a negative 2.86. Fuck that. Cool Here we picks. are. This is the Batman TMNT. Yes, this is an actual comic event, and it's on its second phase. Actually, this is labeled under TM Batman TMNT Adventures. Yeah, this so. is this is the, this is the second one. The, I have yeah. the first That's one. Yeah, the first one was more of the Batman, serious, serious. The first one was the comic turtles meeting the comic Batman. Yeah. The second one is more the cartoon turtles meeting the cartoon Batman. Yeah, Four. I like that. Four. We we we're not grading these. Yeah, we're not yeah. grading these. This, Next, this is the end, dude. This is this is our uh, By victory By the way, lap. here's what we're about to get to. This is why we have to do this. Yep. Because Saban decided that these are a shared universe. Because you guys clearly are not watching until we get back to the DVDs, so we got to get back um, to DVDs. Twelve. Next. That is the other one yeah, where the comics the meet one. the comic Batman. Oh, that's um, the one I have. Twenty. Twenty. Let me give it a twenty. Oh, yeah. And it is pretty sweet. And that is consistently the animation style of the book. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to give it a 20 out of 5. So Batman gets oh, and to chill out with some turtles. There's a mutagen explosion that happens at Arkham Asylum. It's amazing. Now we got to be crazy here, Although Joker. I still find it absolutely Joker hilarious. becomes like a giant snake thing. Yep. Oh, that's fucking and again, I still find it absolutely hilarious that the fucking turtles are inside of the DC Universe when they were loosely based off of the Marvel Universe. Well, this is just a crossover. Right now, the Turtles exist in the IDW Universe. True, but you know what I mean, though. I just find it funny. Next. Hey, look at that. History of Leo. Look at him. You see what I mean? This is the when he had to when they went into areas that had no air or something like that. They would do this. They would purposely shove this thing down their throat and hold it in their teeth, and it would push oxygen so they could breathe. They were really dark figures. Yep. I like this one a lot. I like this one a lot. I like this one a lot. I love this one. I don't care that it looks this bad. It doesn't look like this in the show. I don't like this. I don't like the 80s designs. I hate them. I really do. I'm very biased against them nowadays. And that's what I grew up with, but I can't go back to it. It's awful. Next. Oh, See? Yeah. Turtles forever. 
I like this movie because it even points out just how bad and sad our turtles really were. Yeah, it, isn't it a matter of like no, it's uh, it's the two uh, thousands one, the 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 twenty thirteen or whatever, where they meet up with these idiots on the yes. list. Yeah. And they're just like, yeah, let's go. Do, do, do. And they start to walk out, and like one of them grabs them. And that's, throws this them back. Like, that's, the that's this movie. That's this movie. What are you doing? That's this movie. Yeah. But that okay. does happen in the 2013. Also, there's yeah. a crossover with the with the 80s awful turtles. Yep. Mm-hmm. Next. Oh, uh, epic, yes! epic rap battle. Oh yeah. Epic rap battles of history. Not bad turtles. Which is funny considering the fact that this is a YouTube budget. Right. And it's still better than the fucking. Th- I've, seen yeah. <laughs> I've seen worse. We've seen tons of worse. Next. Holy ball sacks. Uh, yeah. Uh, Actually, this this was my first comic that I bought with a turtle on it since the Archie comics. That's a heavy metal crossover. Yeah, you. Okay. Next. Oh, look at How that. did you go down a hill? Very I easily. Mean. Damn, man, look at that. Oh, that's a Shane, okay. I was like, Next. who the fuck is ringing? Yep, there's that, there's that yes. recent one. This is yeah. cool because they come into the animation style of these turtles, and then these turtles go into the animation style of these turtles. So you get to see these guys look like these guys, and these guys look like these guys. Yeah, the 80s turtles are like, yeah, sorry about that, guys, but we had to bring you over because there's this other dimensional Krang here that's not our Krang, and he's trying to blow up all the dimensions. Next. <laughs> Oh, that's on its way. Yep. It's coming for you. It's coming. Next. Oh, Ghostbusters. Yeah. That happened, by the way. I've yet to have a chance to read it, but damn, that's awesome. Ghost turtles. And you know, you know Donnie had a freaking orgasm meeting these guys. Yeah. Next. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Japanese turtles. Next! <laughs> yeah. Turtles. It's kind of neat. Yeah, that is kind of neat, actually. Yeah. yeah. Next. Okay. There we go. That's it. That finally finishes out looking over the designs of the TMNT so we can finally start doing the movie reviews. Good. Which means we can get back to the DVDs so everybody will stop screaming and freaking out. Get back to the Sentai DVD. Uh, we said we'd get to it when we can, but schedules have been a major bitch lately. Yeah. You ain't lying. Hey, guys. Did you like that podcast? If so, remember to check out FandomNight.com. At FandomNight.com, you can drop a line to this show, or you can check out other podcasts as well. We cover all kinds of topics, everything from comic books, wrestling, movies, TV shows, video games, animes, mangas. It's outrageous. We seem to have a podcast for just about everything, and you have access to it just by going over to FandomNight.com. So check it out, guys. We're going to get out of here.